François Antoine, Count of the Empire (1756–1828), was a French writer, lawyer, and politician during the Revolution and the Empire. Topic: Biography. Topic: Early career. Born to a Protestant family in St. Jean Chambre, Ardèche, he studied law and, after literary attempts, became a lawyer to the Parliament of Paris. In 1789, he was elected by the Third Estate of the Senechaussee of Annonay as deputy to the Estates General. He was one of those who induced the Estates General to proclaim itself a national assembly on 17 June 1789, and approved, in several speeches, of the storming of the Bastille and of the taking of the royal family to Paris October 1789, Boissy d'Anglas demanded that strict measures be taken against the royalists who were conspiring in southern France, and published some pamphlets on financial issues. During the Legislative Assembly, he was procureur syndic for the directory of the département of Ardèche. During the Revolution Elected to the National Convention, he sat in the centre, Le Marais, voting in the trial of Louis XVI for his detention until deportation should be judged expedient for the state. He was then representative on mission to Lyon, charged with investigating frauds in connection with the supplies of the Army of the Alps. Although he had been close to several Girondists, Boissy d'Anglas escaped arrest after Francois Henriot's insurrection of 2 June 1793, and he was one of several centrist deputies who supported Maximilien Robespierre during the early stages of the Reign of Terror. However, he was gained over by the members of the Mountain Hostel to Robespierre, and his support, along with that of some other leaders of the Marais, made possible the Thermidorian reaction. Boissy d'Anglas was then elected a member of the Committee of Public Safety, and charged with the superintendence of the provisioning of Paris. He presented the report supporting the decree of Three Ventos of the Year 3, February 1795, which established freedom of religion. In the critical days of Germinal and of Prairial of the year 3, he was noted for his courage. On 12 Germinal, the day of insurrection of 12 Germinal year 3, he was in the Tribune, reading a report on the food supplies, when the hall of the convention was invaded. When they withdrew, he quietly continued where he had been interrupted. During insurrection of 1 Prairial, he was presiding over the convention, and remained in his post despite insults and menaces of the insurgents. When the head of the deputy, Jean Bertrand Farad, was presented to him on the end of a pike, he saluted it impassively. <laughs> Under the Directory He was protractor of the committee which drew up the constitution of the year 3 which established the French Directory. His report shows apprehension of a return of the Reign of Terror, and presents reactionary measures as precautions against the re-establishment of tyranny and anarchy this report the proposal that he made the 27th of august 1795 to lessen the severity of the revolutionary laws and the eulogies he received from several paris sections suspected of royalism resulted in his being obliged to justify himself the 15th of october 1795 as a member of the council of 500 boissy d'anglas became more and more suspected of royalism himself he presented a measure in favor of full liberty for the press, which at that time was almost unanimously reactionary, protested against the outlawry of returned émigrés, spoke in favor of the deported priests and attacked the directory. Accordingly, he was proscribed immediately after the 18 Fructidor coup, and lived in Great Britain until the establishment of the French consulate. <laughs> Later life In 1801 he was made a member of the Tribunate, and in 1805 a senator of the Empire. In 1814 he voted for Napoleon's abdication, which won for him a seat in the Chamber of Peers after the First Bourbon Restoration. However, during the Hundred Days he returned to serving Napoleon. After the defeat at Waterloo and the subsequent abdication of Napoleon, 1815 Boise d'Anglas was one of the five commissioners sent by the provisional government to try to negotiate peace terms with the Duke of Wellington and Prince Blücher. For his disloyalty to Louis XVIII, on the Second Restoration, he was for a short while excluded, in the chamber he still sought to obtain liberty for the press—a theme upon which he published a volume of his speeches Paris, 1817. 
He was a member of the Institut de France from its foundation, and in 1816, after its reorganization, became a member of the Académie des Inscriptions et Belles Lettres. He published in 1819–1821 a two-volume essay sur la vie et les opinions de M. de Malesherbes. Family and children He married Marie-Françoise Michel Nimes, 6 January 1759 Bougival, 21 March 1850 on of March 1776 in Vauvert. They had four children. Marie Anne, the 17th of February 1777 to October 1855. Suzanne, the 14th of October 1779 to the 6th of March 1851. François Antoine Jr., the 23rd of February 1781 to the 12th of November 1850, Prefect of Charente. Jean Gabriel, the 2nd of April 1783 to the 6th of May 1864, Orléanist politician. Equals equals notes. <laughs>